You said you're spending the night here by yourself. Yeah. No way. Couldn't pay me any amount of money to come down here by myself. Hi. You don't want to go in there and provoke. Dude, there's something down there. I'm in danger because I'm locked in this place by myself. I'm just trying to stay calm. Oh, f I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm legit scared. Holy f that. Really can't do this much longer, man. Oh my god. What was that? Oh my god. Where the f The fact that I'm doing this is insane. Holy f I'm at one of the most, one of the most, one of the most, one of the most haunted locations. Haunted locations in the U.S. And I'm creeped the f out. I have to survive, survive tonight. Survive the night. Locked in. Locked in. Locked in. Alone. 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 He's coming. Oh f no. That. Ooh. F I just heard footsteps behind me too. It's f free. She's here. Oh, she's here. I'm gonna give you this balloon for now. If you'd like to play with it, I'll put it on top of your swing. Ooh. Luckily, we had. Whoa! Whoa! What was that? The Bojo City is half as scary as this. That's gonna be pretty crazy. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. This is your last chance if you're down here. Oh, it just went off right next to me. Weird, because I was moving around this whole time and that didn't go off. All right, so I'm here in the cafeteria now. Definitely feeling a little darker in here. I've got a camera right there and a camera right there. REM pod, REM pod, motion sensing REM pod, touch sensors. If there's somebody here in the cafeteria, my name is Colin. I just want to talk to you tonight. I'm sorry if you died in an unfair way, but I would really like for you to come out and speak with me. I'm not a prison guard. I'm just a citizen. I've actually been to jail before. <laughs> got arrested when I was 18 for weed, but the charges all got dropped. Is there somebody here with me in the cafeteria? So I have a tool here, and if you use your voice, it should allow me to hear what you have to say, so you can talk to me. Stranger. Stranger. Yes, I kind of am a stranger, and you are a stranger to me, but it's okay. You don't need to be afraid of me. I'm not, I don't work with the prison. Can you tell me who you are? Take picture. Take a picture? I'll take some pictures. I'm not gonna look at them until later though. Who's here with me? 
I feel cold. His. His? Oh, it got cold in here all of a sudden. Really cold. Oh, sh**. Oh, man. Okay. What did you do that landed you in prison? Why were you arrested? Oh, my blood sugar's going low. It happened here. It happened here. Maybe it's someone who reoffended. A lot of times my blood sugar goes low in haunted locations. Right when I got into the cafeteria, my blood sugar went low. And it's weird that I had to eat in the cafeteria where people came here to eat. And then it said this. Contact. contact. If you want to make contact with me, you can. Who's here? Killer. I've never gotten that word on there before. Okay. Are you telling me that there's a killer here? With me right now? Dude, it's f free. She's here. Oh, she's here. Stuck in the middle of the desert, like what the f are we gonna do? I'm here looking around and I'm like, this is the type of place that you get murdered. I wasn't that far off. In the distance, we hear gunshots. Luckily we had, whoa, whoa. What was that? Whoa, no, chill the f out. Wait, were chill those gunshots? out. Yeah. Bro. That was two gunshots. I don't, they sounded like, a, I think it was you guys. No, it's that pop, pop. It came from over there. What the hell? If Vulture City, honestly, is half as scary as this already, that's going to be pretty crazy. Whoa! 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 And all of a sudden, we hear a gunshot. We don't know where they're coming from. It could have been a neighbor shooting at an animal. It could have been a neighbor shooting at us. We run back to the car. Yeah, they are kind of far away. They're shooting in the middle of the night. Somebody that doesn't want us going back down that road. They see our lights, and it's dark, and they're probably like, look how far that house is. Right. They're clearly out in the middle of nowhere for a reason. We think we're getting shot at. Apparently that's normal, the tow truck guy. Yeah, yeah, no, I know. Okay. Wait, so shot at? I said, so there's people out here shooting at us? And he was like, yep. Yeah. That's what he responded with? Yep. Yep. Was he? Yep. Okay, all right, so I'm good. <laughs> wow. wow. We're still waiting for our taxi. So just for fun, I, I went ahead and I put one of those cat toys that you have to physically touch. And I put it out in the middle of the road. Okay, so my friend said it's really haunted out here. I'm kind of believing her based on the situation we're in right now. If it's true, can you come touch that spirit ball in front of me? That'd be awesome. I'm kind of talking to my friends in the car and then all of a sudden in the corner of my eye, I see it light up. I instantly grab my phone and I just start recording. I'm like, yo, I just hit record right now. This just started going off. Oh, right. Can you make it go off again? Dude, yo, we were just talking and just started going off. Oh, I see a car coming. Where? There's a car coming behind us. What if that is the people that were like shooting and they're like coming to investigate? That's not the people that were shooting, Tim. It could be though. All right, let me hide. Oh wait, there's another car coming this way too. Car coming this oh, way too. Wait, what? We're being surrounded. Oh man. Is that the shot? Is that a shuttle? What? She said, are we okay? Is yeah, we just broke down. Oh, it's just somebody asking if we're okay. Oh. <laughs> I was hoping it was the cab. Damn. <laughs> Just some concerned citizens checking on us, which is really nice. Maybe the cab's coming from that way. All right, this is looking like like a big truck. Yeah, it looks exactly. like a tow truck. Yeah. Oh, okay. It probably is a tow truck. He's probably like, I ain't gonna be able to help these honkies out here. How are they gonna get get out of here? I ain't putting them all in my truck. <laughs> Shoot, he probably just see us and keep driving by. Whoa! It won't close. Oh, oh, oh. What the f***? Oh, what was that? It's a dog. It's a dog. Close the door. Stop pressing the button, bro. Jeez. Please. 
Dude, Dude. stop! Uh, Push no. it! It's jamming, stop. Oh. I thought I almost died. Bro. Dude, I he jumped me. on my leg. Yo, so that, that truck dude, just passed us. I thought it was a coyote. Bro. Are you sure? Wait, what? Did he like chase you or something? Yes. Like, did you not see that? He uh, ran up with Gene. Oh. Uh, I tried. Can we just stay in the car? Oh, busted my lip though. Gene comes running in the car. He's panicking. He's crying. I thought he saw a tarantula or something. And it was right at the moment that this truck was coming towards us. So we didn't even get a chance to look over and see who was in this truck. If it was a tow truck, if it was for us, he got attacked by what he thought was a coyote. We thought it could have been a dog, like someone's dog, but there's nobody in the area. Where did this dog come from? Maybe that dog had something to do with that truck that was driving by. Maybe it was intentional. Is that our shuttle? That's him. Okay, you'd be on a uh, dog watch. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. There's the dogs. Hold on, hold on, hold on, I told you there was dogs with that truck. Bro, look, that guy has those dogs. He's like driving slow. Oh, with he's the gonna dogs. go hook that truck the minute we're gone. Bro. Wait, what? Yes. He's gonna Do go hook that so? truck. Yeah, it's hundred percent. Yes. You got attacked as soon as that truck went by. Yeah. Our taxi ends up coming and picking us up. On our way out, we saw that same truck and there was two dogs rolling with this truck and that's another reason why i felt that it was intentional that they had these dogs attack us it scared the hell out of us i already got a busted lip and we haven't even set foot in the gate yet i think we're gonna make it to what's say ah i hope so i hope so let's look at how i'm in this those pain hey we made it to an actual road yes craziest thing ever like you cannot make this up i feel like the area that we were at was haunted but i feel like it's worse than haunted it was cursed from the moment we touched that soil it was like one thing after another was going wrong car breaks down we're getting shot at we get attacked by dogs we're in danger in so many different ways and i'm just happy that we're alive Clark, I'm going to remain on the property for the next couple of hours throughout the entire night. If you by any chance want to communicate with me further, please come. Oh my God. Hold on. That just moved backwards. That literally just moved like, like this. I'm going to make my way over to the swings and to the Ferris wheel. This is where I caught some pretty crazy stuff. <laughs> and I cannot wait to share that with you. This place is absolutely massive, and... Tragedy. Tragedy. If it's talking about, you know, the girls that were uh, brutally murdered, then yes, it was definitely a tragedy. Alright, I'm just gonna act like I just didn't hear that <laughs> in the water. Man, I've uh, I've been alone before. You know, I I, I like filming. Can you move location? Asking me a question. Sure thing. I'm coming right over to the uh, swings first. I'm gonna see if I can get in contact with the little girl. That was unfortunately. Actually, now that I think about it, that was a tragedy as well. There's just a whole unfortunate uh, trail of events here. I've heard a story about the swings and a little girl that passed away on them. Do you have any more information on that? The girl was riding the swings. As the swings going around, a soda delivery truck's delivering soda to concession stand nearby. It backs up into the path of the swing. So sometimes she hangs out over at the swings. People see the swings move on their own without wind blowing. But yes, I'm moving my location. I'm coming straight towards you. <laughs> like I was saying, I've been alone before and I actually prefer filming alone sometimes, but uh, I've never done something of this magnitude. This is just, Otherworldly. I've I've heard of this place numerous times and I'm right next to you. Alright. Who's right next to me? Are you behind me, in front of me? So I can look at you. Eye contact. And we're getting really close to the swing, so I'm wondering if it's the little girl that's right next to me. I actually wanted to go see if I could get in contact with her. If you guys have ever played Fallout 76, the video game, the ferris wheel that's over there it, it, it's in the game <laughs> it's in the game and uh chris was telling me that people come here and like they take pictures of the ferris wheel and then they they do like a side by side of their character in fallout 76 pretty soon this communicate communicate 
Thank you for communicating with me. Hello? Oh, my mother of spiderwebs. I'm second. Wow. This is neat. This is really neat. So as you can see, it was these types of swings. Some of the stories were that this was swinging so fast that it was almost going like this way of swings. And there was a truck that showed up and the chair went straight into the truck and uh, she died right there. And there's a the Ferris wheel on the back. This was her exact chair. Hello, I was wondering if by any chance the little girl was here with me tonight that'd like to communicate with me. Why don't I actually get a little bit more comfortable, be more welcoming. So give me one second, guys. A demon here. What? Don't say that. Don't say that. Don't say that. A demon here. No, 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 no. Don't say that. Right as I was about to sit down and let my guard down. You, you can't say that. Yeah, so there's mirrors in here. I'm gonna walk around, just check this area out. Um, see everything that's in here. I hate how this gets blurry. I can't see. There we go. Okay. So let's walk in here. This is the living room in here. Let's see where I'm walking. Nothing's happened yet on the app. So let me see if I can find another mirror. Where is my body? Where is your body? I don't know where your body is. But how did you know my middle name? That's crazy. That's crazy. Oh man. This is wild walking in here with no light. It's so wild. All right. There's a REM pod in here. So I'm gonna leave it in here. If I hear anything go off, then I'll know that. Uh, I don't want to scare you. Oh my gosh. Okay, thank you. I am kind of scared, not gonna lie. I'm just a scaredy cat, all right? Don't don't be offended. Um, there's a bunch of dolls. Oh my gosh. Woo! There's a mirror here as well, covered up. So I might, if I'm feeling ballsy, I'll take the, the covers off. But um, this, is, this is a really dark room, it feels like. It feels like there's a lot of sadness in this room. Um, kind of brings me back to when I was feeling depressed, not gonna lie. I know that feeling all too well, and definitely in this room, feels like a lot of sadness happened. The bottom floor, where two of the friends of the family got murdered in this room by the uh, axe murder. So y'all said y'all don't even have suspects? Too many suspects. Right off the bat, you got vigilante posses looking for a blood-soaked lunatic in a barn. State and local authorities are looking at Reverend Kelly. You got five years of gossip in a small town. Everybody in town thinks they're a detective because they're friends with the cop. Yeah. Everybody in town were suspects. Yeah, especially in a small town, everyone's just gonna be talking about whatever they hear, all the rumors and stuff like that. So it's so hard to prove who actually, who was the person who actually did it. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of old man so-and-so was weird, he did it. Yeah, which went nowhere. speculation, but it never went further than that. Nope. I've been here 20 years. I've done well over 700 overnights alone. I don't think the family's here, honestly. I think if this place is like rose red and it's just haunting itself. I've seen every door open, close, objects move, chairs rock, full on conversations upstairs. But I've also seen positive things and I've also seen very negative things happen in the house. Shadow figures, the EVPs are phenomenal from here. Not long ago, we had a guy by himself got an EVP of a woman saying a woman's name. It's like, that name doesn't ring a bell. He said, no, that was his girlfriend's name. 33 years ago in Texas, who's Whoa. still alive. Okay. And to me, that's something in this house saying, I know everything about you. Man, I threw myself in the deep end on this one. Like this is, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to last an hour just telling you guys right now. This is, this is pretty freaking nuts. I really don't wanna go upstairs though. Tell me that. Uh, we were executed. Oh my God. It just said we were executed, holy shit. I'm really sorry about that. I can feel your pain. Like the fact that they just said that we were executed and that they don't want to scare me. And they said, where's my body? 
This is literally the Axe Murder House, where six kids were murdered here along with the two parents that lived here. So this is, this is insane that this is saying this. So crazy. I guess I'm gonna make my way upstairs. We're going in the deep end. Um, the darkest area I feel is upstairs because it's kind of like where it all happened, where it started. Um, the Axe Murderer was up in the attic. There's a shapeshifter. There's a shapeshifter. I'm not gonna lie, I think I'm gonna take a break. I'm like, I can't really breathe that well. I know it's just my anxiety, but my anxiety is through the roof right now. Like this, this keeps saying stuff and it is, this is so accurate, it's so trippy. Oh man. All right, I'm gonna take a peek upstairs. I can't see these steps. Oh boy. Oh man, I don't really wanna do this. She's here. Oh my God, man. All of my hair is on end. Who did you kill? Oh man, this just got, it got so cold in here, man. Like, I can feel it all up and down my arms. All up and down my hand, my arms. Worried. You're worried? Maybe they're worried to tell me who they killed. Yeah, you don't need to be worried. We're just having a conversation. And I'm you're not gonna get in any trouble to talk to me. What are you worried about? I just heard a footstep. Which? Which? Okay. What happened? I'm at peace. Well, it's good that you're at peace. I'm definitely not coming here to try to disturb your peace. Wow, the back of my head is really killing me. Joyce. Joyce? I literally just started to get like such a sharp pain in the back of my head, like stabbing pain in my skull. I don't know what the hell that would be. So if she's here- Understand. Understand? I'm trying to understand. The devices have been pretty quiet, but Joyce, she's here, killer, witch, seems like a woman who murdered somebody named Joyce. She's at peace though, like she was happy about what she did. Do you regret killing somebody? Neither. Neither. You're apathetic? Okay, I'm officially creeped out. If you're over there, come into this room. I really hate this man. Escape. Escape. Oh. Like a prison escape. We talked about that in the interview. No one ever really escaped here. But we didn't have a lot of escapes and that became well known. And so as the years went on, they started bringing in the hardcore criminals. We got the worst of the worst here. If they couldn't be handled somewhere, they were brought here. Can you let me know where you are? Are you out there? Or are you down there? Goodbye. Goodbye. Started to get worse. That's when it said killer, she's here, listed off a bunch of women's names. 
So I don't know if that's a serial killer that targeted women. Still very quiet, like something was just waiting. taking a little break from the main building here at Brushy. Yeah, this place is honestly pushing me to my limits. Being alone in such massive buildings with such dark, violent history is way scarier than I thought. I'm just, I'm just gonna add in here. I actually didn't think I'd be this freaked out, but I'm like way more on edge than I like to be. And I love the paranormal, but this is pushing it a little bit too far for me where I'm like really uncomfortable, but I'm all the way here, so I gotta keep doing it. I'm gonna head down right now to solitary confinement. I just got a bad feeling already. This whole night has not made it any better at all. We can't believe we made it, no way. It's a miracle, honestly, that we even made it. Going into this investigation, I feel a little anxious. Being out in Arizona, there's rattlesnakes, there's spirits, and then there's people out there. There's a lot to worry about. A little nervous, but, but we're gonna be all right. Oh my God. All right, the first thing we're gonna go check out is the brothel, guys. The brothel is a super active location. Phantomous lights that will turn on in there, that's how. You guys don't have electricity here. We have no electricity here. So how do you see lights? That's a good question. Maybe you can give me an answer to that. We're gonna go see what that's like right now. Oh, Jesus. This is what happens when you don't pay attention to where you're going. Well, let's turn the camera this way, not run into stuff. If you don't know who I am, that would be the blind one. Now you know I'll be running into stuff all the time. Right through this door is the brothel. Mexican Rita, if you're here, that is not it at all. We're gonna keep going over here and I think this is gonna be it. Nope, that's the second bathroom. Where am I? It, usually it doesn't happen this quick. I'm a little embarrassed, but I'm lost already. Being out here alone, not being able to rely on anybody, especially when you can't see very good. You know, a lot of people say things like, oh, you can hear better or you can do this better. It's actually not true, but I do believe there is something to do with just not having really good sight that spirits are drawn toward. I feel like maybe there's something that they want me to see. And if I don't see it, maybe it, it piques their curiosity. Normally people would freak out and I just act like it's nothing. If anything, I think I'm more alert and more ready for things to happen. I've definitely got myself into some sticky situations. Holes, holes are a big problem, especially out here in Arizona. They have holes that have been dug for mines all over the place that have just been left abandoned. Uh, it's kind of freaky. Okay, but this is definitely not it. This is the bathrooms and this whole time, I was told to just walk straight and I'd get right there. So obviously I lost course here and we're gonna have to look around. What is even over here? It's not over there. So maybe we're just supposed to keep going past here. Let's see. You know what really kind of creeps me out? Is not falling off the end of a deck like that. Okay. What's really creeping me out is a story he was telling me about them doing abortions inside this clinic. I don't even like talking about this. And then taking the fetuses that they get from it and throwing it in the back, which would be back here and burying it. Like they didn't want to know about it. Probably it was only the evil doctor himself that would know anything about it. Whoa, what the hell was that? Hello? I don't see anywhere where this place is. What in the world? I feel like I've been set in the wrong direction. Let's go find out what's over here, I guess. The one thing he did warn me of was to watch out for rattlesnakes. I don't see anything out here. Guys, I only have these couple of lights on me, a couple of batteries, and I don't even know where I'm at. Am I even in the right location? I don't even know. <sighs> you know what? Usually I would have a special tool to show me the map of where I'm at. Okay, there's a building over there. Let's hope that's the right building. 
Yeah, I have no idea where I'm at. I see lights down there on the other side of this fence, but I wouldn't think I have to go on the other side of this fence. <sighs> this has been a long day, and it's already been a super long night, and that's before I even walked into the building, guys. <sighs> I don't have any f clue where to go. Three hours later, James makes it inside. You know, just recently I've been saying something about not running into any type of snakes. And that was the one thing I was warned about. They are between these buildings all over the place. Now, chances are if you guys see them, you're gonna see them and I don't. I miss a lot of things that other people see, which kind of makes it like I'm watching a video for the first time, even though I was in that video and I made it. There's been times where I've had apparitions right in front of me and I haven't even seen them until later on when somebody catches it in a video. And it makes it worse that I can't even find the building we're supposed to go to. We're literally just on a road right now. Oh my God, this is the worst feeling ever. Please tell me that's somebody's dog. A demon here? No, 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 no. Don't say that. Right as I was about to sit down and let my guard down, we got Oliver, and then right after Oliver, we got a demon here. That's. Anxi yeah, I'm feeling it right now. I'm feeling the anxiety. If you'd like to come and speak with me, uh, the little girl. My name is Yasko. I brought you a little evil. Evil. Th this can't be happening. I'm just trying to get in contact with the little girl here, and I'm getting a demon here. Evil. So I'm going to keep that propped up right here. And I'm going to present my gift that I was going to bring for the little girl. So I hear that you love balloons, and I hear that you love your red one. So I have a couple here. I have a yellow one, a green one, and a blue one. And, you know, I heard that red might be your favorite color, but I, you know I'm what? I'm upset. I'm upset. Why are you upset? Did you want red? I mean, I, could, I, I have a red one in my car. I, I could go all the way back and get you one. I wouldn't mind that last couple of responses aren't the most uh, positive to say the least but I hear that the little girl that died here on this swing right here she loves balloons and she likes to move balloons she likes to play with them so I'm gonna go ahead and blow one of these up and see if she'll play uh, personally my favorite color is yellow so I'm gonna go ahead and blow up the yellow one and if you'd like to join me by all means oh they light up too it's so cold right now that like I can't really move my fingers to like... It wasn't even that big for it to blow up. Did you just pop my balloon? Let's be friends. We got her. I'd love to be friends with you. The, now this light's not working. Why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? I won't blow it up all the way so it doesn't blow up again. My fingers are so cold. Can we keep talking? Can we keep talking? Absolutely. I could talk my ass off. I'll be here all night with you. I really don't mind. You know what? I'll sleep here if you want me to. But man, is it cold. Actually, I don't know about that. All right, I got- Sue. Sue, S-U-E. We got it, we got a name, Sue. Sue, thank you so my god. The f <laughs> I'm tearing up. This is amazing. This is absolutely incredible. Thank you so much, Sue. My name is Yasko. You could call me Jazz. You could call me what whatever you like. I'm gonna give you this balloon for now. If you'd like to play with it, I'll put it on top of your swing. Thank you. She wants to play. That's so sweet. That's so cool. You can knock it down whenever you'd like. I've noticed Nicola. that. Nicola. N-I-C-O-L-A. We're getting a lot of spirits. Maybe, maybe this like 
I'm gathering a bunch of spears together right now, and that's really, really cool. How about this? Over there on that table, there's a couple of toys. Uh, maybe you can tell me if you want a specific toy. You know, if you want a bear, you know, say bear. We have a duck, we have a football, we have a Coca-Cola. Man. I'm gonna go ahead and take a little lap around. If there's any... Hello? Hello, is anybody there? Is there anybody there? Aggressive. It, oh my god. So intense and aggressive after the question I asked and then hearing that over here is a little freaky, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, is there anybody here? Really hope the camera's catching. Hello? So the balloon's still up on that swing right there. If you want to, uh, you know, potentially play with me again, move that balloon that's on the swing right there. The green one. They say that this moves a lot because she likes to play with it. Oh my god. Listen, look. Look, look, look. It's moving right now. Look how it's moving. It's not moving in like one direct motion. Oh my goodness. There's no wind right now. Look at the grass blades right aside it. The grass blades are not moving. I came from a dark place. I came from a dark place. Are you with me right now with this balloon? Thank you for giving me this time and effort. Hold on, hold on. Jeff. I gotta double check with these names and see if there's any actual uh, like stories about anybody. In no way. What was that? Let's go. Let's go. Okay, we are officially upstairs. The attic, the door to the attic is right here. Um, four of the children were sleeping in here. The two parents were sleeping right here. So, hello. Who are you? Don't be fearful. Oh. Don't be fearful? Sorry, I'm really scared right now. It's told me twice. It literally says, I don't want to scare you, don't be fearful. That makes me feel a little better that there's some nice people in here. I appreciate that. All right, let's go check out the uh, kids' room in here. Okay, if anyone's in here, if you like to play with the balls, you can go ahead. I just want to have a good time. If you guys want to play, you can play. If you guys don't want to play, you don't have to. It's whatever, it's totally up to you guys. Okay, there's a bed right there. That's where one of the, uh, some of the kids were sleeping. There's another mirror over here, I think. And here is another one of the beds. So sad. Like, just so much sadness in this place. Genuinely. Oh my gosh, Hi. just... As soon as I said there's so much sadness in here. I'm so sorry. I feel your pain, I really do. Just the feeling of being in this place by myself scares the absolute out of me. I just wanna put that out there. I'm a little bit okay i'm a little bitch, but i'm down for the challenge let's head in the attic this is uh where apparently the axe murderer was hiding oh f what is that oh hell no oh man i gotta go in there Are you sh me we can knock we can knock can you knock like this Haven't heard anything yet. I'm going in. I can't see though. So I'm gonna be careful. Oh. Ow. All right. I'm gonna sit in here. We are officially in the attic. I didn't think I was gonna get to this point. Really didn't. 
This is where the axe murderer was chilling, hanging out. And anywhere from the time from 10 p.m. to about 4 a.m. is when all of this, uh, all of the murders happen. This area in here feels very dark to me. It feels very deceptive. Um, it feels like, you know, somebody was just waiting in here. They didn't belong in here. And that's kind of what scares me a little bit, just being in the space, feeling that energy. I can definitely feel that. Oh man, this is this is something. He's coming. Oh f no, I'm gonna I'm gonna just f go actually. F that. Ooh, f I just heard footsteps behind me. F I'm gonna head down right now to solitary confinement. Follow me as we embark on this journey together. God. All right, so as you can see, right down here is solitary confinement. loss of vision so this is basically stating that within a few days of being in solitary confinement prisoners would lose their vision they would have to have a guide when they came out for a week until they were able to see again because they were so isolated when brushy opened in 1896 the, the whole house disobedient and dangerous inmates for days weeks and even months at a time if the warden deemed it right inhabitants were once treated to suspension torture tied by their thumbs to pulley cords hanging from the ceiling toes bare Barely touching for up to 30 minutes. This was deemed inhumane in 1905. They would hang people from their thumbs. Let's go in here. Jesus. This is the solitary confinement area. As you can see, you would be in a very small cell in here. I'm gonna sit in here for a little bit. And honestly, I'm keeping the lights on while I'm in here because something just doesn't feel right. I don't really like being alone. I also just hate how there's like creepy chairs and stuff everywhere. Let's see what happens in here. All right, so I've got two REM pods set up in the other two solitary cells. I've got the jump rope, the touch light, and four cat balls set up outside of this cell. And I'm gonna do a spirit box in here. First of all though, I'm gonna introduce myself. My name is Colin. I'm just here to figure out what happened to you in these cells. I'm not angry, I'm not mad. I just wanna know what happened in solitary confinement. Can somebody let me know if there's somebody here with me right now? All you have to do is walk into one of the cells or go touch one of the lights. Oh, no fucking way. No fucking way right there. Thank you. Can you touch another one of those lights? Can you do that again? That was so good. Can you like that up again if that was you. Touch that same ball. All oh, my hair is on end right now, dude. Like I said before, I just really want people to understand that I'm like really, really scared right now. I don't, I am not a fan of doing alone stuff and I'm really, I don't want to do this again. This is like too much for me, so. If you see me getting like shaky and weird, it's because I'm like legitimately not comfortable here. If you're in here, my name's Colin. I just want to talk. You can use your voice and communicate with me. You can use your voice to communicate with me. What the f <laughs> Let 
that's not creepy at all. My spirit box is dead, and I'm in solitary confinement. <laughs> okay, I literally just said I'm freaked out. I'm like double as freaked out right now because these are fresh batteries. I can't remember the last time a spirit box has died on me, but it is already dead. All right, if you're here with me, can you tell me who you are? Philip. Philip? No way. No way. Okay. Philip, thank you for coming in and talking with me. Can you tell me what you did to end up down here? Victor. I know why this is so quiet. Kill. Kill. So I've gotten the word killer and kill tonight, and I don't ever get those words. So Philip, did you kill Victor? Is that what you're saying? Because you were ill? Did you kill Victor because you're ill? Can you touch one of those lights out there if that's true? I just said, did I hear something go out there? Off out there and it said hall. Are you out here? city I got lost it's something that happens quite often with me just not being able to see we're literally just on a road right now oh my god this is the worst feeling ever please tell me that's somebody's dog I hope that's a dog that's not a dog and it's a coyote like oh my god this is this is different guys being out somewhere alone like this I mean look at the moon up there I didn't think there was any dogs out here. Sure as heck sounds like it though. Which is kind of scary because we were attacked by a dog earlier today. On our way here. I got a, a busted lip from it. Did you hear that? What the hell even was that? I feel like I'm just going off the reservation here. Holy sh! what the f was that? You guys hear that? I did not kick anything. Hello, I'm out here. Hello. I have permission to be here. All right guys, I'm gonna just get out of this area because I don't know what is happening or what that is. Do you see a person out there? Like, I guess it's possible somebody has some land out here and I've literally walked that far of a distance, which probably makes sense. But here's a gate and I'm just wondering why I'm not on the right side of it. And I feel like I'm just getting further and further away. So bad. This is my biggest nightmare ever, and I'm really starting to freak out right now. <sighs> okay, like I'm telling you, normally I can go to places, I have no fear in them, but something out here is just different. Like being out in the desert, like in the real desert, <sighs> hearing any type of noises like that. I mean, forget, you know, ghosts that might be in the actual place sometimes there's dangers out here that we have no idea about something can just change in two seconds and you have to be ready for it okay so we're gonna just keep going and, and looking because i'm just hoping this is the right way i might be lost all night and what really sucks is my phone is dead what is this now they don't have any electric in this whole place i think this is something they set up for a carnival okay we must be close Okay, I think we made it somewhere, and I'm hoping this is close enough to where we're supposed to go. Oh God, hallelujah. This is actually it. Can we just take a moment of gratitude and happiness to actually have made it to the actual door? It shouldn't have been this hard, but yes, it, it was. Oh no, what's up with this? It's not just open? 
Oh, no. Uh, oopsie. It's not good. Um, we're gonna just leave that right there. And I think we're at the wrong building. The building we're supposed to go at has a door that's open. So, what else is out here? This doesn't look like it would be it, though. It's like a barn or something. Oh my god, what if I'm on the mine? That is actually really a bad thought right now because I'm not supposed to be at the mine, but somehow I traveled over to this area. Hopefully we're not trespassing. And sorry about your door. Dude, what is even over here? What the hell is this? Oh God, what the hell? Okay, that was, that was really weird. I got a bad feeling in here. Is there any spirits in here with us right now? I was told that there were some people that died here on this property and there were some tragedies here. There were some women that weren't treated very well. Are you over here? I don't know what shaft the building we're in right now, but this isn't the right building. What am I in the back now? What is that? <sighs> f bro, I wanna get the f out of here. I'm literally panicking. I'm in the middle of the freaking desert. There's nobody around here. No one's coming back, not for a while. That's the whole point of this, to be alone. The one thing that people worry about the most, me getting lost, is literally what I'm doing right now and I feel like I'm just blowing it. Jeff. I gotta double check with these names and see if there's any stories about anybody in no way. What was that? That, l that literally sounded like a little girl. Victim. Oh man. That made me jump a little bit. It's just birds, Jazz. It's just birds. Look at, look at the light on the balloon. Oh my god. That literally moves on touch. Because look at this. Oh my god! He's here? Hold on, hold on, how do I turn this on? Okay, okay. That couldn't have been any more on time. He's here. Jeff, what happened to you, my friend? It's flickering. I mean, just for example, like, look at this. <laughs> just the second when I said it was being moved. He's here. Hell. What the f Bro, there's something moving back there. Hands down, in my couple of years that I've been doing this, the most active area I have ever been to. Alrighty. Okay, so I'm gonna bring out the EMF meter. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on right now. And we're gonna be bringing... Wow. Okay. Well, clearly something's still here. So I'm gonna still use this. We are getting some incredible response. What the hell is- Hello? That just spiked to red, by the way. There's footsteps. Who's here? I was just about to leave this area, but who's here? Clearly someone is still here trying to communicate with me. When I got to the swing area, I had one goal in mind, and that was actually to speak with the girl that was unfortunately uh, hit by the truck and killed while she was on the ride in that one chair. But I received numerous names. Winifred. That is absolutely terrifying. <laughs> I'm gonna, that's moving, uh, going up because my phone's near it, so just a heads up. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and move away from Winifred. No offense to you, my friend. Hearing movement coming from the bushes and immediately saying, we're here, balloons are moving, there's something that wanted to play with me. It was crazy, it definitely overwhelmed me. I'm gonna go ahead and head to the Ferris wheel now. I might make my way back here just based on how much activity we're getting in this general area. So, we did spike to red at one point. Look how incredible this Ferris wheel looks. Think of a clock. 9 p.m. position, 
would be that one right there. So I've heard stories about the Ferris wheel. I've heard that there's an apparition that people see. So it doesn't show up at 9 p.m. It shows up at the 9 p.m. position okay. facing the west. Mm -hmm. So there is a full body apparition that people have showed me pictures that they catch on camera and it looks like somebody standing on top of the Ferris wheel bucket. A lot of people say that they catch an apparition if they take a photo. It looks as if someone's standing on that one. Now I had a similar experience. Okay. So this is from my camera roll right here and this is the full photo so this was during the daytime absolutely gorgeous i zoomed in to the one uh, this is from the other side right now right here you may not be able to see it right away i'm gonna take some photos right now and see if anything comes through because do i imagine what if they're still sitting there you know okay so it's gonna take a night shot photo and it's gonna take some time to develop it's kind of hard to when I'm freezing cold. All right. Oh my God. Oh my God. What the f Bro, there's someone standing right there. That is a full body apparition right there. This is something. He's coming. Oh f no. I'm gonna I'm gonna just go actually. F that. Ooh, f I just heard footsteps behind me. F You're not allowed to touch me, dude. Whoever you are. I'm gonna go and move the REM pod actually. Let's go in there. I'll prove I'm here. Ah f This is f It just said I'll prove I'm here. Okay, please, prove you're here. As I feel your energy, I heard you walking. <sighs> Shit. This is not cool, man. I'm feeling like really lightheaded right now. Okay, I'm gonna sit here and wait for a little bit and see if I get any activity in here. There's a curse. There's a curse. Is there a curse on this house? Is it with the ax murderer? I'm going to move this to the living room over here and see if I can get any activity in the living room. I haven't done that yet, so let's go over there. And let's actually go next to the piano as well. Demon. Okay. Well, I believe in angels, so you can be a demon all you want. That's fine. Can you come over here and touch this object right here for me? Just touch it. It has the yellow light. Don't be afraid of it. I'm gonna come over here to the piano and play some notes for you. Rest. Rest. Okay. You want me to stop? Watch it. Hey, I'm just wanting to see if you're here with me, that's all. All right, not a lot of activity going on. I might go back into the bedroom. Ah, oh, God, I can't see. All right. If anyone's in this room, I want you to touch that yellow light right there. Say what's up. Also, if you guys want to knock, you can do that as well. Knock on a wall, knock on a door, knock on the floor, knock on a drawer, knock on a board. <laughs> Should be scared. I'm not scared. I used to be. When I first came in here. Well, I can't even, I don't even know if you're in here. How am I supposed to be scared? <sighs> Upstairs. I'm probably- I'm from the 1800s. Holy fuck. Holy shit. It just said I'm from the 1800s. How does that, that, how does that know that? How does that say that? That's crazy. This house was built in the 1800s, literally like 1880, around that time. So that is insane. That is crazy, bro. Oh, shit. And it said my middle name. This thing is crazy. I don't even know. Something's here. I know you're here. I'm just feeling a really strong energy in this room. And that's why I came back in here. Bernadette. Is your name Bernadette? Did you used to live here, Bernadette? I'm not too familiar with the people who used to live here. So I was told there was a lot of activity in that closet. I'm going to put the Ren 
pod in that closet. See if we can get anything. Oh, all right. Can't say in here. I'm just gonna sit here and wait a little bit, see if anything happens. See if I get any responses. We're really here. I know you are. Just don't be shy. You don't gotta be shy. I just wanna say hello. Okay, so I'm gonna get up here. Ooh, I'm feeling very, whoa. What the f was that? What the f was that? Okay, I'm trying my f light, that's it. I'm trying my f light. Someone just touched my f leg. In the next episode of Alone Paranormal Edition. I can't tell you how dark this freaking place is. I'm gonna show you guys. Wow! I'm going to get lost. I do not like this right now. What was that? <laughs> that, that, that. If I'm just walking down there. Why do I do this? Shit?